By the name of Almighty God, the most compassionate and the most merciful, I welcome you all, my lovely friends from all over the world. And uh, today it's our fourth lecture on second chapter of the trigonometry. By the way, we will study, inshallah, on trigonometric identities. It's a very simple lesson and uh, we will prove all the relations of the trigonometric identities with respect with each other. By the way, first we have to prove what is our fundamental ident identity in trigonometry. If you have a trigonometric circle, what's trigonometric circle? Trigonometric circle is the circle which its center is in the origin of the x and y axis and its radius is 1. Am I right or not? Now, in here, I will draw a, per a perpendicular of this point on the x-axis. The angle in here, it is alpha, which is anti-clockwise. Now, uh, O, A, B, this is our, our what? This is our uh, triangle inside the, mm, uh, this trigonometric circle. In here, OB indicates the value of the cosine. Am I right or not? OB indicates the value of the cosine. And AB indicates the value of the sine. Now, according to Pythagoras theorem, we have OB square plus AB square is R square. I mean AB square plus OB square is R square. Am I right or not? This is according to, um, according to what? According to Pythagoras theory. Now, what AB is? It's sine alpha square plus OB is cosine alpha square uh, is equal to R is 1 and 1 square is 1. This is our fundamental identity for the trigonometry. Every, every relation which is sine square of alpha and cosine square of alpha, it's 1. I mean sine square of 0 plus cosine square of 0 is 1. Sine square of 22 plus cosine square of 22, it is 1. This is our fundamental identity. Now, from this part, I will derive another two or three relations. What do I mean? If I have, if I have sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha is 1. Now, can I divide both sides by, by what? By cosine square of alpha? Yes. In here, uh, I can write sine square of alpha divided by cosine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha divided by cosine square of alpha is 1 divided by cosine square of alpha. Now, sine square plus cosine sine square divided by cosine square, it is tangent square of alpha. Plus cosine square divided by cosine square, it's 1, is 1 uh, divided by cosine square, it is secant square of alpha. So I found another relation, 1 plus tangent square of alpha is equal to secant square of alpha. This is our substitute relation of the fundamental identity. Now, once again, if I have sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha, which is 1, this is our fundamental identity. Can I divide by sine square of alpha? Yes, sure, we can. So, what, what can I do? Sine square of alpha divided by sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha divided by sine square of alpha and 1 divided by sine square of alpha. Am I right? Yes. Now, we can cancel this one. It's 1. Cosine divided by sine. It is cotangent square of alpha is equal 1 divided by sine square. It is cosecant square of alpha. This is our another substitute identity of the trigonometry. So we can say that first relation is sine square of every angle plus cosine square of every angle of that angle. 
sine square of x plus cosine square of x, not y. It is 1. This is our first relation. 1 plus tangent square of alpha. It is secant square of alpha. It's our second relation. 1 plus cotangent of alpha, cotangent square of alpha. It is cosec square of alpha. I can prove these three relations with the trigonometric, with the trigonometric lines also. Write it. We will have another proof with the second method. Write it, please. Our second method to prove these three relations or identity, it's very simple. If you have a trigonometric circle in which its radius is 1, this is our x-axis and this is our y-axis. Now, in here, I will draw, I will draw an angle of alpha which is O, A, and a triangle, which is a right angle triangle of B. Now, you know that this one, this one shows the value of sine, and OB shows the value of cosine, and R is 1. Am I right or not? So, the first one is the same that we proved. Uh, I mean that According to Pythagoras theorem, we have sine square of alpha plus cosine square of alpha. It is 1. This is our first relation. Another thing that I have to say that if I make a what? A tangent line here. A tangent line here, which is A. And here it is C. Now, AC indicates the value of tangent of alpha. This one. AC indicates the value of the tangent. And OC. OC. This one indicates the value of secant. This one indicates the value of secant alpha. So, we have in here <coughs> a right angle triangle. <coughs> A right angle triangle in which tangent, this is tangent, this side is R, which is 1, and this side, which is hypotenuse, and it's in front of the 90 degree, it is our secant. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, this one, 1 square plus this square, it is this square. 1 square is 1, 1 plus tangent square is equal to secant square of alpha. This is our second relation. Also, one thing more, that if you make another tangent line and this is our y-axis, y-axis and I made another tangent line which intersect with the y-axis. This one indicates the value of cotangent. And this one, oh, let me have this one, D. OD, it indicates the value of cosec alpha. And this one is 1. Now, one thing you know, that we have another right angle triangle. Right angle triangle, in which this is 1, this is cotangent, and this one indicates the value of the cosec. So, according to Pythagoras theorem, this is our hypotenuse, this is one side, and this is our next side. Now, 1 square plus this square is equal to this one. So, 1 square is 1 plus cotangent square is equal to cosec square of alpha. These are our three 
relations or identity and trigonometry. Write it please. One thing I have to say that you might be confused. This is our alpha, yes. This alpha is same in this triangle also, in OAC. Why? Because you know OAB with OAC, they are same triangles. Mm? They are same. How uh, we can prove? In here we have 90 degree and this is our alpha. Two uh, angles are same. In OAC also we have 90 degree and once again we have alpha. In here, what do you think? We have 90 degree, we have 90 degree, and this is our alpha. This is our alpha. Why this one is alpha? Suppose this one is x. One thing you know, that this angle is 90. What this angle is? It's 90 minus alpha. This angle is? This angle is 90 minus alpha. Yes, 90 minus alpha plus 19 plus x this one is 180 the inside angles of a triangle now 1990 it's 180 and this 180 with this 180 is cancelled am i right or not x is minus alpha put it to the rhs so it's alpha it means this angle is alpha so we can see that o a b o a c and o a d they are same triangles I think you have got. Write it, please. By the way, now we will prove, inshallah, 36 relations or identities with respect to each other. What do I mean? It's very simple, very simple. Do not memorize it. Just look how I can prove that one. Try to know the proof and you will be able in order to solve the questions. Very simple. Okay. Defining the trigonometric identities with respect to each other. First, with respect to sign. It means how many um, uh, trigonometric ratios do we have? We have six. We will define these six ratios with each other. For example, suppose sine with respect to sine, cosine with respect to sine, tangent with respect to sine, cotangent with respect to sine, secant with respect to sine, and also cosec with the respect to sine. Then we will come to cosine, all these ratios with respect to cosine, with respect to tangent, with respect to cotangent, with respect to secant and cosecant. It's very simple. By the way, first, first, what do you know about the sign? First, you have to define sign. Sign with respect to sign, it is sign. Sign with respect to sign, it is sign. This is our first relation. Now, which trigonometric ratios relate to sign? I think it is cosec. So, cosec with respect to sign, it is 1 divided by sine. Sine with respect to sine, sine. Cosec with respect to sine, it is 1 divided by sine. What do I mean? It means if I say 1 divided by sine, it means cosec. Now, you know three identities, which are sine square, sine square of x, plus cosine square of x, it's 1. 1 plus tangent square of x, it is sec square of x and 1 plus cotangent square of x it is cosec square of x you know these three identities now try to get help from these trigonometric identities from these three relations now in which of them we have sign i think in the first one so select the first one i mean that sine square of x plus cosine square of x it is one or not yes now we have to define the cosine cosine square of x is one minus sine square of x now try to get the root in both sides so you will have cosine of x is equal to one minus sine square of x this is our third relation cosine with respect to sine, it is root 1 minus sine square of x. Now, what is related with cosine? It is secant. Secant of x, it is 1 divided by cosine x or not? Yes. So, we can say sec is sec x 
or secant of x is equal 1 divided by now what's the value of the cosine with respect to sine I think uh, root 1 minus sine square of x this is our fourth relation it's very simple now sine is defined cosec is defined mm, uh, cosine is also defined sec is also defined now what is remaining i think tangent and cotangent so for defining tangent and cotangent what tangent x it's sine x divided by cosine x am i right or not yes so tangent x is equal to sine with respect to sine it's sine cosine with respect to sine it is root 1 minus sine square of x this is our fifth relation now we have cotangent cotangent is reciprocal for the tangent so it is 1 minus sine square of x divided by sine x this is our sixth sixth relation we prove sex relations with respect to sine now we will prove sex relation with respect to cosine with respect to tangent with respect to cotangent up to cosec I think we have got write it please with respect to cosine first you have to define cosine then what is related with cosine then use these uh, trigonometry identities what do I mean cosine with respect to cosine it is cosine this is our first relation now what is related with the cosine I think it is secant secant x is 1 divided by cosine now use these three trigonometric ratios now uh, trigonometric identities in which you have cosine I think this one the first one sine square of x plus cosine square of x it's 1 now we will define sine sine square of x is 1 minus cosine square of x now take um, uh, both sides root 2 so you will have sine x is equal to 1 minus cosine square of x this is our third relation we defined cosine we defined secant we defined sine now what is related with the sine I think cos, uh, cosec so cosec is 1 divided by sine now we can have cosec of x is 1 divided what's the value of sine in terms of cosine it is root 1 minus cosine square of x this is our fourth relation we have defined cosec, uh, cosine, secant, sine, and cosec. Now, what is remaining? I think tangent and cotangent. What is tangent? Tangent of x. This is uh, sine x divided by cosine x. Now, you will have tangent x is equal sine in terms of cosine. Sine in terms of co uh, cosine. It is root 1 minus cosine square of x divided by cosine in terms of cosine I think it is cosine so it's our fifth relation am I right or not now what is remaining I think cotangent cotangent uh, of x it is reciprocal for the tangent 1 divided by tangent am I right or not so um, uh, cotangent x is what is the reciprocal for this one I think this denominator comes in nominator cosine x and nominator goes to denominator 1 minus cosine square of x this is our sex relation write it please it's very simple With respect to tangent, we have to prove all the trigonometric ratios with respect to tangent. By the way, <clears throat> first you have to define tangent. What is tangent in terms of tangent? I think it is tangent. Now what's related with tangent? It's cotangent. Cotangent is 1 divided by tangent. Am I right or not? Yes. Now, <clears throat> how we can define the remaining trigonometric ratios just use these three identities in which you have tangent I think it is our second relation so our second relation is 1 plus 
tangent square of x is equal to secant square of x. Now, if I take both sides the root, so you will have secant square of x under root 2 and 1 plus tangent square of x under root 2. Now this is cancel secant of x it is 1 plus tangent square of x under root 2. This is our third relation. Now what is related with the secant I think it is with the related with the secant it is cosine. So we can say that cosine is cosine is reciprocal for the secant now cosine x is 1 divided what is the value of secant in terms of tangent it is root 1 plus tangent square of x this is our fourth relation it's finished now we have defined tangent cotangent secant and cosine what is remaining i think sine with the cosecant uh, come to the definition of tangent tangent of x is equal to sine divided sine of x divided by cosine of x so if we make a cross multiplication sine x is equal to i think this is tangent of x times cosine of x am i right or not yes now we can write sine of x tangent in terms of tangent it's tangent cosine in terms of tangent it is 1 divided by 1 plus tangent square of x now if you simplify this one sine of x is tangent times 1 it is tangent of x divided by 1 plus tangent of tangent square of x under root 2 this is our fifth relation what's related with the sine it is cosec and cosec of x it is the reciprocal for this sign so 1 plus tangent square of x under root 2 uh, moves to nominator and this one moves to denominator tangent x this is our sixth relation i think you've got right it please Fourth, with respect to cotangent. First, you have to define cotangent. What is cotangent of x? It's cotangent. This is our first relation. What is related with the cotangent? It's tangent. Tangent of x, it is reciprocal for the cotangent of x. This is our second relation. Next, how we can define the remaining just look to the trigonometric identities in which the cotangent is present now in which of them we have cotangent i think number third so i will select it uh, one plus cotangent square of x is equal to cosec square of x now i will have a root two uh, which is cosec square of x under root two and root of 1 plus cotangent square of x now it is cancelled so you will have cosec square uh, cosec x is equal to root 1 plus cotangent square of x this is our third relation now what is related with the cosec i think it's sine I mean sine of x it is reciprocal for cosec so we can write sine of x is equal to 1 divided by what is the value of cosec with respect to cotangent it is root 1 plus cotangent square of x this is our fourth relation sine is finished cosec is finished tangent and cotangent what is remaining I think cosine for defining of cosine, you have to define tangent or cotangent. I mean, if you define cotangent, you can define tangent also. Cotangent is cosine of x divided by sine of x. Now, by cross multiplication, 1 times cosine, it is cosine x. And this one, cotangent of x times sine x. Now, what do you think? Cosine of x is cotangent with respect to cotangent. It's cotangent. 
sine with respect to cotangent it is 1 divided by root 1 plus cotangent square of the x now if you simplify this one cosine x is cotangent times 1 it is cotangent of x divided by root 1 plus cotangent square of x this is our fifth relation am i right or not now uh, what is um, related with the cosine i think it is uh, secant secant of x it is one divided by cosine of x it means reciprocal for the cosine what is sec is reciprocal for this one so root one plus cotangent square of x divided by cotangent of x this is our sixth relation how many relations did we prove I think 24. Write it, please. With respect to secant, we have to define all trigonometric ratios with respect to secant. Now, how we can do? It's simple. First, you have to define secant of x. What is secant of x in terms of secant of x? It's secant. What is related with the secant? I think it's cosine. Cosine is equal to reciprocal of the secant. Now, try to define that trigonometric identity in which we have secant. I think it is number second relation. Uh, 1 plus tangent square of x is equal to secant square of x. Am I right or not? Now, what's the value of tangent? Tangent square is secant square of x minus 1. Take both sides root 2 you will have tangent of x and this one is secant square of x minus 1 this is our third relation now what is related with the tangent i think it is cotangent cotangent of x it is reciprocal for this one 1 divided by secant square of x minus 1 this is our fifth uh, fourth relation am i right or not yes now what is remaining secant is finished cosine is finished tangent and cotangent we have the remaining is i think sine and cosecant now you have to define tangent or cotangent if you define tangent it is sine x divided by cosine x now by cross multiplication you will have sine x is equal to tangent x times cosine of x yes now sine x is equal tangent in terms of secant this one root secant square of x minus one times cosine in terms of secant i think one divided by secant Am I right or not? Yes. Now you will have sine x is equal this one. If you simplify, this is multiplied with the denominator secant square of x minus 1 divided by secant of x. This is our fifth relation. Now what is related with the sine? It is uh, cosec of x. It's the reciprocal for this one, for the sine. I mean sec x divided by sec square of x minus 1. We have proved 30 relations. The last one, with respect to cosec, cosec of x. By the way, it's very simple. First, you have to define cosec of x. Uh, cosec of x um, in terms of cosecant this is cosecant am i right yes now what is related with the cosec i think it is sine sine x is the reciprocal for this one this is our second relation now uh, try to use the trigonometric identities in which the cosec is present i think this one Number third one. <clears throat> Number third is 1 plus cotangent square of the x. It is cosec square of x. Now you have to define cotangent. It is cosecant square minus 1. Take both sides root 2. You will have cotangent of x is equal to cosecant square of x minus 1. This is our third relation now what is related with cotangent it is tangent so tangent 
of x it is a reciprocal for the cotangent i mean one divided by cotangent so tangent of x is equal to one divided by what is the value of cotangent in terms of cosecant this one root cosecant square of x minus one this is our fourth relation now what is remaining uh, cosecant is done sine is done cotangent we have found and we have found the tangent i think the remaining is cosine and secant so try to define try to define tangent or cotangent we can define cotangent of x it is cosine of x divided by sine of x now by simple multiplying cross multiplication you will have cosine of x is equal to cotangent of x times sine x now cosine of x is equal cotangent in terms of cosecant it is root cosecant square of x minus one times sine in terms of cosecant it is one divided by cosec now if you simplify this one you will find uh, this one is multiplied with the denominator so you will have cosecant square of x minus one divided by cosec of x this is our fifth relation and the last one what is related with the cosine it is secant so secant is one divided by cosine it means it is the reciprocal for the cosine what's the reciprocal for this one for this fraction you will have this one in denominator and denominator in denominator so cosecant of x divided by cosecant square of x minus one this is our sixth relation i think we have proved six times six it means 36 relation by the way write it please it was all that we had in this fourth lecture on the second chapter of the trigonometry by the way see you soon allah hafiz